Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with ThomasHenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. Alright, in today's question, so if you want to submit a question, throw it in the comment section here below. Always make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications on when I have a new video. But if you have a question, put them in the comment section here below or go to Thomas Henson forward slash big hyphen questions. I'll answer your questions as fast and as quickly as I can on the next episode. And always reach out to me and I'll try my best to, you know, at least answer that question. And then if I can get to it in a video, I'll, I'll make sure I do it there. But this question actually came in. So it was a comment around, hey, you know, one of the comments that I've had for one of my videos. And it's just about, you know, we talk about data engineers. We talk about learning and trying to get better. You know, we're doing our 30 minutes a day trying to learn more around data engineering, data analytics, neural networks. And so this question comes in around Hadoop and it's, you know, what's the best way to learn Hadoop? Well, there's not really one way, right? I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it's a very broad question. So I'm going to give you a couple different options and then I'm going to tell you how I do it too. So there's a lot of different ways. You know, some people, you know, will sign up for a course and they'll go through, you know, if you think about it, you know, an in-learning course or a boot camp over a weekend, right? There's a, there's plenty of boot camps out there. I'm sure, you know, if you go to any Facebook group or any uh, LinkedIn, LinkedIn group, you'll get any kind of messages for, you know, live in-person training that you can go and you can, you can go through and learn. Um, even Cloudera and Hortworks have some that they've contracted out. So if you're interested in that, you know, always go to their site and, and look through it. Um, another, another key feature is video. So, you know, you can do video, some of the live streaming. This, this channel is all about, you know, trying to help that from there. And then, you know, full disclosure, we know, you know, I'm, in, I'm involved in the community. I'm a Pluralsight site author. So I have tons of courses that are out there around, you know, starting off with PIG, learning HDFS from the command line, going through the Hortonworks, you know, Hortonworks setting up and some of the basics and then even some of the enterprise skills. And so I've got other courses that are coming and I'll talk about them on the channel here, but the, you know, that's always an option. There are other places, other platforms other than just Pluralsight. Obviously I'm biased because they're my courses and I hope that I'm, you know, hope I'm creating good courses to, to, to help with you. But that begs the question, uh, what if you're looking to learn something that we don't have a course on or, you know, that, that's not out there? You can always ask, you can always ask me or, you know, some of the other instructors or anything like that. But specifically, you need to, you need to learn, you need to learn these things now. And so, you know, if there's something around Hadoop or there's something that you're trying to learn on your own, how would you kind of go about it? You can always go through the documentation. It's my favorite place. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you always hear me say documentation is your friend, right? So you always want to go through and understand that and learn that. But as you're going through, you know, whether you're watching videos or you're watching documentation, you know, there's always other options, right? I mean, you can learn from a book, right? <laughs> there's still, I mean, it's, it's weird, but you know, there's still physical books and people, people still enjoy them. I mean, you saw, I did a video earlier around, you know, the best book for 2019, right? And you know, this, this one was still on there. So they're still making new additions to this book and other books in the Hadoop, Hadoop community. But you know, in general, those are, those are some options. I'll say the last option that you should always do, no matter if you're watching one of my courses, you're watching somebody else's, or you know, if you're going to these boot camps, I hope, and, I, and I'm pretty sure they do it, but you know, spin up the sandboxes, right? Go through the Hortonworks sandbox, go through, you know, build it, you know, if you're not using Hortonworks or Cloud Air or MapR, you know, build your own cluster, you know, from uh, the Apache download, right? And, and go through that, get hands on with it, you know, that's very important, get hands on. So the question is though, right? And then, you know, how, how, how specifically do I learn it? Um, so I use all of the above, right? Not only, you know, not only am I a Pluralsight author, not only, you know, am I an instructor or trainer and, you know, involved in the community, I'm always learning stuff too. I mean, so I'll go through courses, I've gone through Coursera. You've, you've seen me go through it with some of my friends on the Big Data Beard team when we went through the uh, machine learning course at Coursera, going through a couple other ones. I did a video earlier on the machine learning crash course. So as I go through these, look at that. Not only do I have books, I still take notes. So you can see that. So, you know, go through, make sure I'm taking notes. I make sure, you know, as I'm going through it, I'm trying to get as inactive as I can, right? So, you know, if there's an opportunity to write some code, if there's an opportunity to spin something up, I try to do that, you know, as much as much as I can so I can kind of get a feel for not only what's being taught, what, whether I'm reading, whether I'm watching a video, but really getting hands on to kind of iterate it. And the last step that I, that I go through and I try to do is I try to make some content around it, right? You know, so as I'm going through like TensorFlow right now, or as I've gone through Hadoop and Pig in the past, I mean, I would, you know, create a blog post, create some kind of video around what I'm learning, put my spin on it, right? 
you know, go, go through and make some, you know, make some, make some really cool content around some of the stuff that you're learning. So not only did you get hands on with it, not only did you consume it by, you know, whether video or taking it in, but you also created a document around it so you can kind of go back and point to and say, hey, I did learn this, remember here, because chances are you may forget it, but chances are it also might come up in, you know, future employment opportunities where it is, you know, where somebody reach out, reaches out to you to maybe be an influencer to, you know, write a blog post for, for their website around this certain technology. Or if it's a, you know, a, a promotion within your company or an external, you know, an external uh, job prospect there. So you can always kind of go back and point to it. So. That's how I learn. That's what I think are the best ways to learn to do. Um, you know, just from my opinion, what do you think? What What are some of the ways that you've learned? Either you know, Hadoop it can be any technology. What are What are some of those keys that you have? And then always, if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comment section here below, or you know, reach out and find me on social media. I'm out there. Until next time, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Big Data, Big Questions.